Hello and welcome to a new video about controllers, continuous controllers. Last time we talked about the P controller. We said, aha, uh -huh, okay, it is very fast at the beginning, but in the end it will not get there, uh, usually in the common case. Today we are talking about a different type of controller. We are talking about the I controller. Okay? So the I controller, if the P controller was a P element, the I controller, guess what the I controller is? The I controller is an I element. So the transfer function of an I controller, so this FR, I from S, is actually the transfer function of an I element. And this was 1 divided by S, and then we had TI, however, in controllers we usually write TO. Uh, so TO, this is the integration time. Okay. Now let's think about how an I controller would react here. Okay. Let's draw again. the different values. Here's the time t. Yeah? And here, let's say, we have our w. And let's say our w is changing here. So we make a step in our w. This would be W, okay? Reference variable. Then we have the controlled variable X. And of course we have again the, the correcting variable Y from T. Let's say our X, I'll draw this with thick lines that we can see it better. So this is where we want to go. In the beginning we say we were perfect, so our x is also here. Yeah? And since we are perfect, our, our control deviation y is our set, set value is also, let's say it's also here. Yeah? Now let's have a look. Now suddenly the control deviation is high. What would be the reaction of an integration element if on an input? Yeah? We will start to grow yeah? Let's draw it here. Yeah? So here we would see that the integrating time, TO. Okay? So if this would remain constant, yeah? so we will start to grow here. Yeah? Our, our x, this will, at the beginning, it will not do anything. Yeah? We'll sit there, maybe it grows a little bit on the reaction of this. Yeah? But here is also, there is usually time delay, so this is some, some uh, delay inside there, first order, second order, whatever. Yeah? Delay elements are usually inside. So it will simply do nothing. So this will start to grow. Yeah? However, after this is reacting then, yeah, a little bit faster then, yeah, that controller differ difference will be lower. Okay? So here, somewhere here, we will start to grow not that fast anymore. Yeah? And the closer we get with our, with our controlled variable, the, the slower we will grow. Yeah? So actually, we will end up in this situation where our reference or our controlled variable will look like this. Yeah? So this area here. This is this xt from t. Yeah? This is the deviation, the controller deviation. Yeah? 
this is the input of our controller here. So we said already at the beginning we are summarizing big values. So we will start to grow. Then these big values will decrease. So we will grow slower and slower. And the more the values are decreasing, the slower we are going to grow. And here we are not adding anything. Up here we will stay constant. Okay. This is how Y is going to look like. At the end it's growing fast. At the beginning it's growing fast. In the end it does nothing anymore and stays constant. Yeah? Because simply the deviation is, is, is gone. Yeah? If there is no input anymore, we will not summarize everything up. So let's look at this behavior. Yeah? Let's look at our x, yeah? we said at the beginning it's, uh, there's not no much reaction because simply there's also not a lot of input. Okay, there is simply not a lot of input. This y will stay small, yeah? so it's reacting in the beginning meh, slowly. Yeah? However, in the end, it will increase. Yeah, it will increase and increase and increase. And we're getting close to this. So even tiny, tiny deviations over time will be summarized up in a way that in the end, there is no deviation left. Yeah? So the eye controller is the beginning it's reacting, uh, uh, what happened? Uh, let's look. Uh, oh, with patience. Uh, in the end, it's acting very accurate. Okay. Remember the B controller? In the beginning, it was fast, yeah. But in the end, it lost interest and said, "Ah, I've done enough." Okay. So this was I controller. This might not look that way, depending how this is really looking, this x, depending, of course, on the transfer function of the, of the system. Yeah? It might, right now, this looks a little bit like a PT1 element, and this looks a little bit like a PT2 element. However, this is strongly depending on the transfer function of the system. We might end up in swinging here, some, something and like, like this, yeah? and real systems. But basically, I wanted to show you how this is basically working. Okay, so we had now P controller, we had I controller, next time we're talking about the D controller. If this is a good idea or not, uh, we will see uh, in next video. Next time, D controller, this time, thank you very much for listening, goodbye.